have to switch my regular Glock sights to suppressor sights. Uh, unfortunately, I can't edit this video, so it's gonna be a long video. All right, weapon is clear. All right, nothing here, nothing there. Clear. Bless you. Bless you. All right, so you gotta pull back. Now you got these two little, whatever they call them on, the, on each side. So you're gonna press down on them. Then you're gonna release the slide, press the trigger, and the slide will come out. Um, let me try to hurry up. Like I said, I don't have a lot of time. This is my front side tool from True Glow. Sometimes I don't feel like it works really good. Um, but it does the job. So, gotta remove the uh, barrel to work with. And if you guys can see that, that right there is like a little screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this tool to take that off. I feel like it has a good fit, but I can feel it turning right now. So this is just what I need, working just fine. It seemed like they were not, not too tight at all. Now the rear is gonna be a pain in the ass. Um, I, again, I wish I could have a, a, a way to edit the video so you guys don't have to see through that. Black 23 Gen with the Holosun, the uh, 507CX2. Um, already. Trigicon suppressor sites. These are the. Um, green no there's nothing green about this I think oh yeah never mind <laughs> Duh. obviously have to be in the dark all right let me try to hurry up I gotta take this off try to make it quick it's three minutes already sorry I'm gonna take a minute all right, here we go. Ooh wee, looks sexy already. I'm gonna put this here because it'll probably be better if it's already on there versus trying to um, sure I'm using the right side too by the way. Alright, so you make sure you put the right side. Obviously it's the green side that's gonna go facing the rear. Sorry wasted time. She was like sorry. Again. My apologies. I'm making sure I'm using the right screw. I don't want it. I'm not using the wrong, the old one. Okay. Oh, sorry, guys. Anyway. It looks so nice. Yeah, that's fine with you. Yes, please. 
Uh, I can't see anything. There we go. Oh, no, it came off. Ugh. I'm telling you, it's just not cooperating at all. It's shorter than the original for whatever reason. I wish I had a flashlight in my forehead. All right, I think I found it. I don't know if it's turning. Yep, there we go. All right. Like I said, this is the easiest part. Um, all right, I seem to be in place. Uh, looks straight. Now, this here, this is where it's gonna suck, unfortunately. Um, I did this on my Glock 22, and it was very very it was a pain in the ass I wonder if it's going to be a problem with the um, probably not now this is from um, Vesum um, I think I ended up paying like $30 not a bad thing Tool to use. Now, there's some video that said to cover the slide. It's whatever. I don't. I don't think I want to make any damage to it. So here we go. So far, so good. It's coming out without any problems as far as I'm concerned. I'm not very easy, actually. Last time, um, for whatever reason, um, I struggled. And I think it's because I think I tried both, type, type, both sides. Bam! Look how quick that was. Glock, Glock, they need to stop doing this. This trash, bro. Seriously, they need to stop. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Very excited. Now, let's say to just... Now, tap it a few times. I don't know. That's as far as I'm going to go with it. So, now, I'm going to try to hurry up. I'm at eight minutes. So far, so good. Try to do this. Let's see. I have to push it in some. Size plastic, the other one's the metal. So I'm trying to use the plastic side. Oh, damn, look, I chipped the hammer. All right, this is not good.
Bam. All right. So far, so good. Um, I still got to hammer a little bit more. All right. So it's in there. I had it. So far, I haven't done any damage. Just so you guys know, I know it sounds terrible. All right. So there we go. I have to be careful. Make sure it's on the in the middle. Shows in the middle of it. Alright. What happened? <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm gonna go in all just a little bit, a little bit uh, too far. So I'm gonna have to go back. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but. It's a little bit too much, so I have to go back on there, all right? But anyway, um, that's all it took, man. It's um, on my 11 minute. I'm gonna try to finish it. You guys are welcome to continue watching it. They look sweet on there, don't they? Um, so now I gotta go back to my left. Cause it's a little bit to the right, unfortunately. So, no biggie. Too easy, right? All right. Man, this tool's a lifesaver when it comes to, um... All right, like I said, I don't wanna do it, overdo it. Wow. I think I stopped too soon. Um, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and I should be good to go. A little bit more, I don't think I did enough. I think that's more or less where I want it to be. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. Just want to make sure. Yep, looking at the right side. So you got the green. I just want to put it on real quick to see how it looks. I think it's good to go. Looks good. Just want to make sure I'll take it to the ring, make sure it's shooting like it needs to. Alrighty, function check. Uh, so, yeah. I love it. It looks so much cooler. I don't know, I might put some blue tight, blue. I guess blue Loctite, whatever it is, uh, just to make sure it stays on there. Glock 23, guys. Uh, suppressors, trigger count, suppressor sights. Uh, no light, low visibility. Um, I like it. I just need a holster to maybe carry it every day. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, like, dislike, subscribe. Post, make a comment. 
Glock 23, guys. I think my next thing is probably is try to um, change the trigger on it. And like I said, get a good holster. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.